friends. Before I read you the story today, I want to show you this print of a painting by Claude Monet. Can you see what it is? It's a picture, a painting, a picture of a painting that Claude Monet did in his garden. And these are, this is the water, the sun's reflection on the water, and maybe some of the trees, but also those lily pads. There's some up here and there's some down here. And this story is really silly. And it's about a frog living in Monet's garden. It's called Philippe in Monet's garden. And it's written by Lisa Job Carmack. That's Philippe. Look at him among those cattails. <laughs> Philippe in Monet's garden. In the city of Paris, as everyone knows, frog legs are eaten except for the toes. They're buttered and baked and sometimes fried. And the bigger the better is always the guide. A train ride away in the French countryside lived a frog named Philippe with a marvelous stride. He got his name because of his leap, which was the biggest and grandest. Just look at his feet. Philippe liked to play in the pond every day, and he tried not to mind when his friends were unkind. Tee hee ha ha, you're a dumb looking frog. They teased the unhappy Philippe. Your thighs are too big. Your shape is all wrong. You can't be our friend. You just don't belong. Are those frogs being bucket fillers or bucket dippers? Look at Philippe's face. How do you think he's feeling about being called names? It's not very kind. The frog catcher crept with his big trusty net as they bullied and made, bullied Philippe and made fun of his feet. Oh no, it's not fair, they cried in despair. Philippe in your net is a far better bet. So the, the net catcher caught these two guys, but they're saying, oh, Philippe, you, you want him, he has bigger legs. Big feet or not, I haven't been caught. These legs won't be buttered or baked or fried. But as for you, well, I bid you goodbye. And off he hops. Leap, leap, Philippe, he heard the sheep bleat. And he kept on hopping. There was no time for stopping as he made his, his escape from a gruesome fate. Un, deux, trois. Oh, I just counted in French. Do you want to do it with me? Un, deux, trois. Do you know what it means? One, two, three hops. Un, deux, trois. Just when Philippe was all out of leap, he came to the gate of the Monet estate. And reading the sign, which suited him fine, he begged Monet's pardon and entered the garden. So here's the sign. It says Monet's garden. And it says, do you think it says yes? It doesn't say yes. It says no frog hunting. I think that makes Philippe pretty happy. Do you think he's safe there? Oh my, what a size! I can't believe my eyes, exclaimed the painter Monet. So here's Monet. See, he's got his paintbrush. What a 
physique. Monet is impressed with his body shape. Those legs are très magnifique. You are the perfect addition to my garden, not my kitchen. Monet is not gonna eat Philly. I also see Monet's beard. Remember his picture? Right there. See his beard? Philippe's grin grew a mile wide. He wouldn't be buttered or baked or fried. This smile became his only expression because Monet's garden made quite an impression. Ooh, did you hear that word impression? Remember, Monet was an impressionist. See how those colors blend together to form that beautiful garden scene. Monet showed him the pond of which he was fond where he painted the light between daybreak and night. And as for Philippe, there were bugs of all kinds, green ones and pink ones, on which he could dine. So Philippe found a home to call his own, and Monet added some greens to his painterly scene. There's Monet working in his garden. See how he's painting those lily pads? Look at how many paintings he did. Maybe he did this one in the morning and maybe now it's noontime. They're all just a little bit different. And there it is. This is a picture of close up. It's hard to see the lilies when you look that close, but further away, those colors blend together and they form that beautiful lily pad. And here is the restaurant. It's also known as a bistro. And it says, special of the day. And it used to say frog legs but now it says omelets. They're not serving frog legs anymore because Philippe is nice and safe in the garden at Monet's house. I hope you enjoyed that book, friends.